we will be seeing a trend, a pattern as we go through the appearances of the tier sets in 10.2 starting from the pvp version of the tier sets with their two different tints and then into pve for lfr normal heroic and mythic version of the tier sets we start with the most pathetic of all the tier sets which is of course the one of evoker here is how beautiful the evoker set is going to look in your drug tier form in human form it looks like this in the pvp versions the two pvp versions and then into pve we have lfr which is going to have a teal light blue tint then we get into the golden red tint of normal higher up into a green bronze color palette of heroic and lastly once more blizzard is stuck with this purple theme for mythic perhaps it is not very visible in uh, in the evoker version of the tier but we start seeing a similar trend once we go into actually more complete tiers this is one of the better ones according to experts according to scientists as well as researchers the rogue set very nice spiky theme with some old school cult mask going on for the rogue this, these are the two pvp versions of the tier very very appealing color palettes now this is where we start perhaps to see the bigger of the problems that we have with these tiers because this one is lfr so we have a golden blue set for lfr followed by the normal version of the raid silver and orange into heroic we have a darker silver color shade with fell green as a color and lastly we have mythic which is a more traditional steel red color palette now some people might be saying how is this mythic when this is lfr you know clearly this looks cooler than than the mythic version especially because these these are more clownish colors you know these are too too serious this looks too much like actual steel on a piece of armor meanwhile this one looks like a, an arlequin costume and while it's pretty known for having pretty nice arlequin colors in their gear some people might like more the realism of the the mythic version but there seems to be the trend about these type of um, wacky color palettes in lfr difficulty compared to mythic this is another one of the fan favorite sets it is of course as you can notice by the skulls and the amount of spikes as well it's death knight so we have the two pvp versions this one is quite nice silver white and red very nice you know creepy spooky bandaged forearms and, and and hands with the spikes coming out of them then we get into the more traditional color palette which is lfr up to normal very nice at least according to my tastes very nice color palette on normal up to heroic we have the green version of the tier and as we mentioned once again we get purple for mythic now back to personal preference many players would say for example that red is a pretty a nice color palette being from raid finder compared to mythic perhaps even the green or even the silver black version are more more wanted over the mythic version let's see if it's the same for warrior this is the more perhaps unique attempt at a tier from blizzard this is the lfr version you know it's it, it, it's quite different from what we usually see from warrior besides looking very thick and platy as usual for warrior this is normal this is heroic and lastly we have mythic the first the first major change from the color palette where mythic gets a basically full red color palette this is perhaps the first the first of the sets as we get into them where mythic might be the better looking set compared to the others mostly because of this scalding hot red color on the plate armor which looks quite nice on on warrior overall though the set looks quite disappointing especially the helmet the front not really too big of a fan of that then into warlock we are into another one of the fan favorite sets this one might present some difficulties for warlock players to actually walk uh, past doors given how wide it's gonna be god knows if you're using an orc model how ridiculously large you're going to be this is the pvp version and the higher version of pvp it looks like a a demon scarab with its horn on the shoulder which is quite nice lfr 
this is the LFR version of the set into normal, into heroic, and then into mythic. Once more, we go back to the purple color palette. Now, perhaps this is or might be one of the few situations where a color palette being purple might be fine because we are talking about warlock. Warlocks like their purple stuff. Maybe some people are, are sick of seeing warlock as purple, so they might enjoy more these two offset colors. Actually, no, fell green is also kind of overused on warlock, so maybe, maybe the, the lower end of the difficulties might be cooler as a warlock player. Then we go into PvP versions of the Hunter set. This is perhaps one of the worst of the sets. Because we have, as usual, very cool Blizzard-esque style shoulders, gigantic, oversized, with a very cool model on top, in this case a, a dragon head, but then the helmet is a green item from Burning Crusade questing. So that is kind of a problem. No matter the, the raid difficulty, this is heroic and then this is going to be once more the purplish of Mythic, there is the clear standout of the quite awful helmet. That's the thing that will have to be addressed when it comes to hunters. Into Shaman, another one of the potential better versions of a set. Very thematic, very, you know, wolf pelt-like all around. Massive wolf-themed shoulders. Similar to Hunter, except their helmet is much more, is much more uh, acceptable compared to the Hunter version. So these are the two PvP ones. We have LFR which is white and blue. Then we have normal, which is light brown and green. And then we have the full blue, the full blue set of heroic. Finally, the red set of mythic. Mythic loses a lot. Mythic should have been closer to heroic. If you're making these shoulders red, then everything else should, should have been just as red, just like the heroic version of the set. Either way, it's still a very good high quality set for shaman. Talking about very good high quality set, Paladin is sort of in between. This might be the, the, the more 50-50 of the sets for the, the classes. These are the PvP versions. We go into LFR version of the set. This is the normal version, heroic with green and to no surprise once more, Mythic is purple. This has some quite features around the armor. It's quite detailed from the shin guards, the knee guards, the, the forearm protection. Even the helmet looks kind of cool. Maybe some players won't, won't like it though. I, I still think it's a, it's a decent set with nice color palettes. We still have the question of LFR, for example, being quite cool compared to some of the other sets, which same can be said for Mage. So with this uh, hilarious hat, way oversized, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be shrink down uh, before the release. This is LFR into normal, into heroic, and then into mythic. Blizzard pulls a 180 here and gives the purple color to heroic and then the blue color to mythic. We are missing particle effects. You know, these things will get colored and animated uh, over the, the live version compared to the picture. I still think this is one of the the weakest versions of a set. Unless you're a fan of memeing around because you have a wizard hat, I think the rest is quite is quite all right at uh, at best. Then we have a I would say I would call it an out of place set. This is the PvP and the higher level PvP reward for Demon Hunter. This is LFR for Demon Hunter. This is normal, typical fell color with, you know, Burning Crusade armor. This is heroic. And then lastly, we have Mythic, which is boohoo purple. I say it's somewhat misplaced because honestly, the, the helmet is kind of a bit over the top compared to the rest of the set. I think it's still very thematic and very cool. If you are a very edgy Demon Hunter, you will definitely like this set. Fits, fits right in the theme of Demon Hunters, though. I'm saying that it fits right in because there is something that doesn't fit right in, which is this. You know, you would be hard-pressed to guess that this one was actually a druid set. Maybe you guessed it because, you know, it's a night elf, so maybe it's a druid. It's got some owls in here, so maybe it's a druid. And then I see some leather around, so perhaps it's a druid. But, you know, if you look at the general look of the tier, it's quite different from what druids used to get. This is LFR with a light blue tint. This is normal red and black tint up to heroic with, with shades of green as a color. And lastly, we have mythic. So 
it's quite nice because you look more like you're made of plate or maybe mail as a druid rather than being a leather set so it's quite unique compared to what druid used to get when you're talking about tears talking about the unique this is not particularly out of the ordinary for monk you can tell this is monk quite early by just looking at the crane on the shoulders of monk surprise we have no monk beads we have, we have no prayer beads around the neck so maybe that's a surprise i think we have one of the classic mistakes as we go up the difficulties into normal heroic with green and then mythic one of the one of the more uh, troubled points of Blizzard tier sets is making the, the edges look good. Making things like the arm parts, the belts, the shoulders look good. And then all in the middle, it's like a pajama. You know, all of this is not like this is not looking good. The sides, the edges, very good. Everything else in the middle looks looks like it could be improved. <laughs> all right for for monk then we have something where we would be hard pressed to say we can find things to improve because this is the best set of the tier the best set of the expansion possibly even this is priest we don't have to guess too much when we have to to pick this one as the priest set we go back to possibly a reminiscent look of the tier six from Barney Crusade in the Black Temple, whenever we see things like hooded figures with a halo, with some angels and wings, that's usually where we are brought back to, the tier 5, tier 6 of Burning Crusade. These are the two PvP difficulties. I'm sure many players will be seething that this is the Gladiator Elite set of PvP, the classic colors of Priest, white and gold. That will be quite, quite annoying for many non-PvP players. Then we have LFR. LFR is a nice callback, as mentioned, to the tier 6 of Priest, same color palette. Normal is another very nice and uh, classy color palette, white, gold, and red. Then we have the gray and uh, green of Heroic. And finally, I'm afraid we have to go back to purple for Mythic. So we are back once more to complaining about the fact that likely the Raid Finder version is still just as good, if not better, than the other difficulties. And we have seen this in multiple tiers. Arguably, Raid Finder can be better than many difficulties, even the Mythic version. Same goes for Druid, if you like this light blue color over yet another purplish tier set. Same goes for Demon Hunter, we have blue. Instead of going back to your usual fell color or the once more purple color of the mythic set. This seems to have been a recurring theme, you know. Paladin, this one being light blue over once more purple. Mythic, you have the only red shoulders and a boring color palette for all of the rest compared to the vibrant blue colors of Heroic or the more thematic core cron elite type of theme of the raid finder the warlock version is the same the raid finder has some different colors compared to the usual purpleness of of, of warlock same goes for dk you have a, an, an out of an out of team red color silver and red color for dk over going something like once more purple so there is perhaps a bit of a a bit of a sadness in seeing that once more we give some very high quality loot, some very high quality sets to LFR difficulty. I'm not I'm not against players doing LFR getting good looking sets. I am against sets from the highest difficulty of the game not being significantly better. Of course, we know they will have better, you know, shinier effects than the lower difficulties, but still, it would have been nicer to see some ex some extra things on the set just because of coming from the hardest difficulty. We can then finish in style. These are going to be some extra sets available in the patch, like for example, the Dreadlord set, the the Dreadlord disguise set available in patch 10.2 still no clue exactly where this will be coming from as well as the tanaris wasteland set which is a very cool set even better for example just to name one than the hunter tier set this is actually much cooler as well as a whole bunch of um a strong and independent woman who don't need no man type of transmogs so 
this for now are all of the data mined and slash available looking sets for 10.2 we have quite a few high quality sets perhaps on average more than than just a few as i mentioned rogue is very good death knight is very good warlock is very good shaman is very good paladin can be good for some players back to demon hunter being good druid being alternatively good as well as priest being excellent so quite a quite a high rate of good picks from blizzard in this season when it comes to how the tier sets are looking with perhaps the minor annoyance of raid finder tier still being comparable if not better than many of the higher difficulty sets so with this out of the way i'm going to leave you with the question of which is the tier set you have been enjoying the most if not which is the tier set you have been disappointed by the most what were you expecting for <laughs> for a particular class that really lets you down and with this out of the way i am going to leave you as i am getting changed ready to go out with the rest of your tuesday and incoming reset day in na and soon in eu so with these things out of the way we're going to start by thanking as usual all of our patreon supporters for the contribution and the help to the growth of the channel and as well as supporting completely for free being able to be done by liking and commenting down below as well as subscribing to the channel itself so with these things out of the way as i'm putting my shirt on thank you guys again for watching see you guys tomorrow and Oh, shit. in the meantime okay ready to go out i have about three hours to do a whole bunch of things in one so let's hope i make it in time